Good day everyone, today we are going to discuss about the new research developments and practices in recruitment and selection. Let's start with the impact of technology on recruiting. So organizations have had to adjust to the new reality of online recruiting. Like in our present situation, due to COVID, many Filipinos lost their jobs and the fastest and most convenient way to find job is to look online. The rapidly emerging field of e-recruiting is defined as the use of communication technologies such as websites and social media to find and attract potential job applicants. So that is to keep them interested in the organization during the selection processes and to influence their job choice decisions. Next, one of the primary advantages of e-recruiting is the potential to reach a large number of potential applicants at low cost. So e-recruiting provides the opportunity to reach applicants wherever they are through their mobile devices. For example, a recent survey found that 68% of active job seekers use their mobile phones at least once a week to search for jobs. However, about how the impact of displaying recruiting messages on small mobile phones in distracting environments compares to more media-rich websites and traditional recruiting media viewed in quiet surroundings. So clearly, the recruiting landscape is changing rapidly and recruiting theory needs to adapt to reflect these shifts. Despite the practical advantages afforded by e-recruiting, they remain both positive and negative consequences for organizations. For example, organizations can significantly reduce costs to advertise positions by using third-party job boards or through company websites. In addition, the inexpensive nature of online recruiting permits the transfer of large amounts of information to potential applicants at a minimal cost relative to traditional advertising venues. Media content can be substantially richer including graphics, photos, interactive text, and video. The potential also exists for the immediate tailoring of recruiting information to target the needs of prospective applicants. So for example, after completing a needs questionnaire online, a prospective applicant could conceivably be provided with targeted information about the organization, its benefit programs, and opportunities that addresses their individual needs. Despite the benefits and efficiencies of online recruiting, a potential downside is that many employers complain about the flood of unqualified applicants that can result from online advertising. So this deluge of applicants can inflict considerable costs on the organization if the online recruiting process is not accompanied by an effective and efficient screening technology. So the importance of integrating efficient screening tools and online recruitment needs to be emphasized to a greater extent in HR practice. So researchers have also begun to focus more specifically on what makes an effective company website for recruiting purposes. Specifically, some authors suggest that website content or cultural information, appearance, or the use of colors and pictures, and navigability or links to job applications and usable layout are all important for recruiting purposes. Clearly, investing resources in website aesthetics such as the use of pleasing colors, pictures of smiling employees, and easy-to-navigate functions such as direct links to application forms can have appreciable benefits for recruiting. Now let's move on to applicant quality as recruiting outcome. 
The traditional outcomes have been categorized into four major constructs. So, the job pursuit intentions, organizational attraction, acceptance intentions, and job choice. Bria and Stark presented a large number of potential organizational goals that recruiters could strive to reach from shortening recruiting processing to reducing turnover. More research is emerging on these additional outcomes. For example, although recruiters have always been concerned about the quality of applicants attracted, Few researchers have focused on this area. This area has perhaps become more popular due to the concerns about online applicant quality noted in the technology selection. Specifically, Carlson, Kernerly, and Meckham argued that assessing the quality of the applicants attracted is a useful tool in assessing the overall utility of the recruiting and selection system. To this end, they provided a useful assessment framework. This outcome has become an important focus of recruiting research. Dine-in and No showed one way to improve applicant quality is through real-time conveyance of fit information to applicants to discourage weak applicants. In a quasi-field experiment, showed that stronger applicants were most attracted to job ads, emphasizing what the employer could provide to the applicant versus emphasizing what the company needed from the applicant. Chapman and Webster, meanwhile, have shown the stronger applicants and most influenced by recruiting practices. Specifically, weak applicants are inclined to apply to most vacancies to maximize their chances of employment, whereas strong applicants can afford to consider the merits of each company before submitting any applications. These findings highlight the importance of considering recruiting strategy and messages for attracting the best applicants. Next is the renewed importance of the recruiter. A long-standing debate in the recruitment field has examined the role that recruiters play in influencing applicant decision. Earlier work suggested that recruiters play either no role at a minor one in determining applicant decisions. There is a little guidance in the selection literature regarding how to identify and select individuals well suited for recruiting. Early studies show that applicants pay attention to and are positively influenced by recruiters' behavior, behavior such as being informative and expressing warmth. But a little bit about individual, we know differences that may be associated with recruiting success. So... Despite the growing role of technology in the, in the recruiting process, most employers and applicants continue to value an opportunity for face-to-face -face interactions at some point in the recruitment process. So most employers um, and applicants continue to value an opportunity for face-to-face -face interactions at some point in the recruitment process. Next is the organizational image and employer branding. It is clear that applicants cons consider the image of an organization as an important factor to evaluating employers. Meta-analysis on organizational, organizational images and rec in recruiting found a corrected mean cor correlations of 0 0.50 between image and job pursuit intentions, 0 0.40 for attractions, and 0 0.41 for acceptance intentions. These entrepro Anthropomorphic approach to organizational demonstrated that applicants describe human conceptualizing image personal personality traits such as sincerity, competence, excitement, and sophistication. Rudeness to organizations, Acre, 1997, Levens, and High House. So, in general, uh, people seem to be more attracted to organizations whose traits and 
characteristics are perceived to be similar to their own. So applicants have been shown to take note of CSR information such as an organization's environmental practices, community relations, sponsorships, activities, and treatment of women and minorities. So Iman Smith, 2001, conducted a policy capturing study and found that companies' ecological re retain was the strongest predictor of organizational attractions over and above pay and promotional opportunity. So this author suggests that attractions um, stems from interpreting, interpreting company image information as as a signal of working conditions, a proxy of organizational values, and applicants develop an effective reaction to these signals which may manifest in being attracted to that organization. So, according to Backhouse and Tico 2004, employer branding is essentially a three-step process. So, first, a firm develops the concept of what particular value or brand equity it offers to prospective and current employees. The second step consists of um, externally marketing these value propositions to attract the targeted applicant populations. To this end, early recruitment practices have been found to be particularly useful. Collins and Stevens, 2002. Then the third step of employer branding involves carrying the brand promise made to recruits into the firm, into the firm and incorporating it as a part of the organizational culture. Good afternoon everyone, um, today I'm going to discuss my topic. My topic is addressing aging populations. Whereas, traditional recruiting research has predominantly examined attracting young employees from universities and colleges, looming demographic realities involving a major shift in the age of employees are forcing employers and researchers to learn more about attracting and retaining older workers. Example, Rowan Adams of 2004 examined the growing area of bridge employment whereby older workers seek out a semi-retirement opportunity. This typically involves part-time employment that can serve to supplement retirement income as well as serve to fill a variety of social and STEM needs in older workers. So, it is emphasizing equal opportunity for older workers, flexible schedules, and pro-older workers policies have been shown to interact to improve attractions of older workers by Rao and Adams of 2005. Other suggestions for appealing to older workers include flexible compensation, and benefits program. Job redesign to accommodate and appeal to older workers. So, it is clearly more empirical data are needed to test many of the ideas cited for attracting older workers. So, next is attracting temporary workers. One response to stopping highly volatile work demands has been to relate more heavily on temporary workers, interns, and employment agency employees. This approach represents a significant recruiting challenge as employers often are lower pay. Few benefits and little training to these temporary workers as compared to core employees. There has been little empirical work examining the attractions of temporary employees However, research conducted on cooperative education programs shows that temporary employees tend to be attracted to many of the same organizational and job characteristics as full-time employees. So therefore, employers offering better pay, prestige, locations, and opportunities are advancement are likely to be, to be more successful in attracting temporary employees, as many of these employees use internship and temporary work as a stepping stone to full-time employment, employers would benefit considerably from considering their temporary hires as a potential full-time talent pool and treat them accordingly. 
applicant reaction to selection procedures. Although recruitment and selection are often viewed as separate process, research is increasingly showing that the two processes have considerable interactive effects. In turn, these inferences might influence how attract they are to the organization. And in designing selection procedures, HR managers should balance their recruiting and selection needs and pay attention to the potential effects that their selection practices can have on applicant attraction and job choice. Direction for future research on personnel recruitment. Unlike selection research, which has a rich history of exploring very practical approaches to personal selection, recruiting research has tended to focus on more digital predictor attraction relationships. For example, we still lack simple descriptive information on the specific recruiting tactics used by employers. As a result, there is a dearth of research examining the effectiveness of particular recruiting tactics and strategies. The growing body of research on decision processes should help recruiting researchers make informed predictions about the likely success of these specific tactics and provide potential moderators of these approaches. Another example of such proactive recruiting approach might consist of organizations seeking the maximum speed perception in order to enhance attraction. For example, through online assessment, it may be possible to would benefit from recruiting practices that attract individuals who are comfortable and motivated in team environments. And recruiting materials then would display photos of employees engaged in team-based tasks. Advertising outlets could include publications that attract a team-focused audience and benefit and reward should emphasize rewards for team performance. Demonstrating value to organizations. To date, recruiting researchers have largely had to rely on logical argument to demonstrate the value of recruiting to organizations. So dito sinasabi kung gaano ka halaga or kaimportante sa isang organization ang recruiting. For example, utility analysis can demonstrate the theoretical returns to the company of employing an effective recruiting system over a weak recruiting system. We can also argue that effective recruiting is necessary in order to generate the types of selection ratio needed to make our selection system more effective. Next is provide a comprehensive framework for examining the types of recruiting goals that organization can align with their overall corporate strategies. For example, as a cost reduction strategy, HR departments could design recruiting practices aimed at attracting experienced employees who need little training, thereby saving training cost. Uh, so, ang isang organization is gumagawa ng strategy to less their, their expenses in conducting a training or recruiting sa isang organization. The last one is... A company emphasizing success through teamwork would benefit from recruiting practices that attracted individuals who are comfortable and motivated in team environment. So recruiting materials then will display photos of employees engaged in team-based tasks. Advertising outlet could include publications that attract a team focus audience and benefit in reward should emphasize rewards for the team performance. So, understanding how your organization is viewed by potential employees is a first and necessary step toward determining recruiting strategy. Generating effective strategies to address the, this image can flow from studying this issue empirically. Disentangling content from method. 
In order to better determine recruiting effects, researchers are urged to design multiple manipulation for various recruiting tactics. So, too frequently, recruiting research have single manipulation of informations, which make it difficult to determine whether the approach to recruiting is driving any observed differences or whether the content of the single manipulation is causing the tactics. The next one is, accordingly, we can gauge the relative effect of the recruiting tactics independent of the job organizational content used in the manipulation. For example, in designing a study examining the role of recruiting tactics, such as comparing the job opening to a, to a competitor's offering versus a tactic involve, involving simple, simply providing additional information about the company, researchers shol, should endeavor to provide several examples of each manipulation so that the content of the manipulation is not confounded with the tactics. Focus on the job. We know a lot about behavioral outcomes such as actual job choice than we do about attitudinal outcomes such as traction, job pursuit intention, and job acceptance intentions. Need to pay more attention to multiple outcomes, longitudinal outcomes, and behavioral outcomes of we are provide organization with the information that will be practical. Focus one thing at a time when you direct your attention toward the sole task. Your risk of distraction minimizes rather than multitasking. Keep your brain and actively engage or anything at a time. Increase your quality of work and your attention span by focusing on the one task first and the, mo and the move on to the next. Overview of key research research finding in personnel selection. The strategies used must be in compliance with the various laws in respect to work for selection. Due to space cons constraints, we refer readers to Cook, 2016. Personal selection system employ evidence-based practices to determine the most qualified candidates and involve both the newly hired and those individual without can be promoted from within the organizations. Improvements in prediction of existing selection procedures. One is one insight deals with increasing the contextualization on, of sign-based predictors, cognitive ability tests, aptitude tests, and personality inventories. Although contextualization has the history in aptitude tests, the meta-analysis of Schaffer and Postel with 2012 summarized this research base and shown that for, for big five traits, emotional stability, extraversion, agreeableness, and openness in the experience. The second is, is is insight relates to the increased recognition that practitioners should carefully specify predictor criteri criterion linkages for increasing the criterion related val validity of selection procedures. As conceptualization of the job performance, more than beyond task and performance to include the citizenship, counter productivity, and adaptive domains, it is important for organizations to carefully identify this, the criterion, contracts of interest, and choose and potential predictors on basis of the hypothesis links to this criterion constructs. Constant. The third is stream of research with Considerable value for selection practice is that one should be aware of potential curvilinear relationship between personality traits and job performance dimension. At a practical level, these results highlight, for example, that selecting people high in conscientiousness but low in agreeableness for jobs that require frequent collaboration, collaboration collaborations 
reduces validities to zero. Fourth, research has shown that use of the other report in addition to self-report might improve the prediction of personality traits. This is one of the examples of O et al. Exam examine the meta-analytic validity observer rating of the personality in work context. The found observed rating had higher valid validity range from 0 0.18 to 0 0.32. Then did self-rating range from 0 0.05 to 0 0.022. Moreover, observer rating is, is displayed incre in incremental validity over self-ratings, although the, the, the reverse was not true. Finally, research is informative as to what practitioners can do when applicants pick selection procedures such as personality inventories. And we know they do. Research shows that social desirability corrections should generally not applied. Not applied. It 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 it, it was discouraged that faking agents not seems to be a problem when personality inventories are used for selecting candidates for seeds process with a high selection ratio. Thank you. The use of technology in personal selection. Technology is important in our daily life. It simply makes our life better and easier to live in some way. And now we will discuss the use of technology in personal selection. First, use of the internet in selection is nowadays simply a necessity for firms to stay competitive. By the use of technology, most of organization made it easier to find qualified candidates anywhere in the world because internet can prove a valuable tool for a broad spectrum of tasks and one of these tasks is that of recruiting employees. Next, the good news is that research generally lends support to the use of the internet as a way of delivering tests that have provided Evidence for the equivalence of internet-based testing vis-a-vis -vis paper and pencil testing. Relative to the applicants complete, completing the paper and pencil measures, the web-based measure show better distributional properties. And as a main explanation, the loading speed inherent in internet-based testing seems to make the test different from its paper and pencil counterpart. Research with regard to transforming face-to-face -face interviews to video conferencing interviews reveals a more mixed picture. It concedes that internet can be used to advertise job vacancies, computers could be used to create job ad advertisements, and applications are often filled out using an online form. Some organizations have moved toward a two-tired approach. The internet based of tests of cognitive ability and knowledge are administered followed by one-site proctored administration. And some organization combine this two-tired approach with item response and item generation techniques so that candidates seldom receive the same test items. And by the use of technology, recruiters can now scan job boards and professional network sites like LinkedIn for qualified candidates with the right skill. And by the use of technology, also personal selection helps in hiring only the desirable candidate. Personal selection in an international context. The globalization of the economy has also considerably affected personal selection practice and research. Due to the globalization of the economy, organization continue to be on national borders. This is reflected in international collaborations, joint ventures, strategic alliances, mergers, and acquisitions. One of the problems is that the selection of people for foreign assignment has traditionally been based solely job knowledge and technical competence. However, a meta-analysis of predictors of expatriate success revealed that there are many more possibilities. 
In meta-analysis, there are four of the big five personality factors, and these are extraversion, emotional stability, agreeableness, and consciousness, cultural sensitivity, and local language ability. We're predictive of expatriate job performance, and it is necessary for organization to view the labor market in an international scope. Another large-scale study showed that countries differed considerably in how they value specific characteristics to be used in selection, and one of the HR challenges is selecting people in an international labor market. A large body of research that has examined whether there are differences in the use of common selection procedures from one country to another. We need more studies to unravel factors that might explain differential use of selection practices across countries. And there is need for human resource system that can be used across multiple countries while at the same time recognizing local particularities. We need to know how we can gain acceptance for specific selection procedures among HR decisions makers and candidates. Toward a modular approach to personal selections procedure. In the past, selections procedure were seen as monolithic entities. There is now increased recognition to make a clear distinction between predictor construct content and predictor measures methods. The content refers to the construct and variable that are being measured. Method refers to the techniques or procedure that are used to measure the specified content. For example, a specific construct such as extraversion might be measured via various methods such as interview questions, self-report items, or situational judgment test items. Social media and personal selection, new talent signals. Social media such as Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter now play a predominant role in modern life. Social media can be defined as internet-based operation based upon Web 2.0 that allow users to generate and exchange their own content. There has been growing interest among companies to screen and evaluate individuals' social media profiles and messages as a novel and additional source of information for recruiters to make a decision about whether or not to hire a person. This practice of using social media in selections has the potential to revolutionize the field of employee selection. Going beyond validity, effect of selection on firm performance. Prior selection research usually took a microanalytical perspective and typical examine the effectiveness of a selection procedure for protecting individual performance. To, dem to demonstrate the impact of selection on organization performance, more recent research has taken a mac macro-analytical approach. In particular, these studies went beyond simply correlating briefs, reports of HR managers, use of selection procedures with firms, performance, and adapt a truly multi-level perspective to demonstrate that performance at the individual level also translate into difference at other levels. General logic underlying most of this research human capital emerge out of an interaction of HRM practices. Examples, people knowledge, school abilities, and other characteristics. One example of this stream of the research is the study of Ploy Hart, Weekly, and Bogman, 2006. They shown that individual job and organization level mean personality were posi posi positively associated with job performance and job satisfaction, whereas job and organization level variants were often negative negatively associated with with performance and satisfaction this result highlight the import, importance of personality 
homogeneity in different level. Effects on key organization level such as managerial job satisfaction, lay labor productivity, and financial performance. The interaction between organization level mean personality traits and smaller organization level variance in this trait had also beneficial effect on key organization outcomes. Research has advanced in specifying the construct space related to malad maladaptive traits. Conditional reasoning tests are based on the no notion that people use various justification mechanism. Maladaptive traits are then referred to as sublinical version of three main traits. First, narcissism, second, machiavellism, and psychopathy. Gamification and personal selection. One of the attractive points of situational judgment tests is that they present a series of realistic situations to applicant. However, situational judgment tests are typically statistic and linear. There are more realistic stimulus format format for example 2d animated video based 3d animated and avatar based gamification in recruiting makes your lib living process more interactive and it may also pro project a company's culture that enjoyable and fun this attracting more quality of candidate Due to, inter due to their interactive on non-linear nature, GAMIFID assessment challenge conventional approaches for scoring and subsequently examining the reliability ri and validity of the scores obtained, for example, contract-related and criterion-related validity. A comparison with a traditional selection approach is also not straightforward. One usual starting point for future research may be to establish evidence-based or theory-based links between the game's features, candidate in action, and the job-related contraction, and are the focus of the selection procedure. Big Data Analytic and Personal Selection Big Data include a combination of four dimensions, volume, velocity, variety, and veracity. Clearly, capitalizing on those dimensions opens a window of opportunity for personal selection. In one of the prior sections, for instance, we have already referred to the use of big data for examining and demonstrating the effect of hiring and selection practices and organization level performance indicators. In addition, the big data movement can also brutally applied for improving existing selection proce procedure. One now example what wa we discuss about consists of use of machine learning for scrapping job related information from people's social media pages. Other example are the use of te text analytics for scoring a accomplishment record. For example, Cam Campion and Rider 2016 or the reality on Social sensing for extracting non-verbal information for interview of assessment center exercises. Through big data analysis, organization can view HR patterns and trends and use that information to make prediction about the future. Future forecasting provides HR managers the chance to improve their long-term HR strategy and avoid issue with hiring, retention, and performance down the road. In the next 
few years, we expect applicants' investigation of the use of various forms of big data analytics in personal selection to exponentially ex increase, allowing researchers and predict practitioner to address novel questions and or before a new answer to old questions.